Hi, welcome to DancePlanet.tv. Absolutely delighted to be at Bar 501 with creator or co-creator uh, Steve Brown, which all of you will know from uh, your own fame of winning Pro Tour titles and playing dance on TV successfully. Long time ago now, yeah. And also the creator of JDC, which is going on tonight prior uh, to your iPlaster Premier League, which we'll talk a little bit more about later. How did you create Bar 501? What was the what was the idea behind it? Well, I grew up in pubs and clubs all around Bristol, as you know. Um, frequent most of them. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, yeah, so I've been around darts and, and pubs all my life, really. So organising tournaments and stuff is something I got used to at an early age. And um, so yeah, but then my, my own career was fading a little bit. That injury I couldn't get rid of. I'm sort of looking for a, a second. Very much like Mark Dubridge, you again as yeah. carrying an injury for the last few years. And whilst I still had a bit of carrying a bit of bit of weight and a bit of a reputation, certainly in South West, I capitalise on that and um, sort of sort of branch out and then got the bar, yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit ironic. Me and you used to practice in your father's pub and now uh, John Brown, your son, is practicing in your pub, and yeah. and your father actually helps you run this bar. Yeah, Mark. yeah, no, but that's um, that's sort of um, really sort of integral part of what we do here because um, every dub is a very popular guy, and um, yeah, so it's a no-brainer really get my dad involved as well because uh, yeah, it's, it's a lovely bar, but always lots going on. Yeah. Uh, it's very predominantly a darts bar uh, during darts days and darts nights. You have the Thursday night um, round robin event, which yeah, is yeah. great fun, and of course. Yeah, I'm sure all of you on the internet have seen Shoot the Pot Fivers. That's a, a Bristol thing. That's up to it's up around six hundred pounds. No, it's, it's going to be a thousand pounds uh, tomorrow. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So that pot goes. So how that works? Yeah, so we start off with a pot of each a hundred pounds in. Then uh, and after round robin on Thursday, it's five pounds to go. It's like a raffle. So if your name gets pulled out of the raffle, you then go over to the number generator on the, on the wall and you press a number between two and one seventy. You've got three dollars to check out. Obviously, you miss them fivers back in the pot, <laughs> and it's sort of pot bills until somebody hits it. We've also got reserve pot now at 250, so once this pot's hit. Are you going to cap it off at 1,000? No, no. Oh, no, wow. Anyway, so, the blink of an eye, it could be two grand. Quick. So, if you live in the Bristol area and you like your darts, turn up, really friendly pub, uh, real welcome, it's real got a dart steam about it. But you also, Friday and Saturday nights and Sundays, it turns into a bit of a. Yeah. Oh, it's a bit of a switch bar. <laughs> yeah, so we've done our best really, sort of, so we, we cross over quite well, so obviously the final one's a darts reference, um, but a lot of our customers on the weekend so tend to yeah, I have no idea it's a darts bar during the week. No. We cover the dark bars up and got quite nice light. Well, I, I've, I've been in here when there's no darts on, you no, wouldn't believe no, it was a darts really bar. It's, it's, it's superb. Also, uh, it's not sales pitches, but you've got some really, really nice rooms yeah. above the pub that you rent out. So if people plan on coming, I know they've done it before. Uh, they've turned up at the bar, they bring a team over from Wales or Ireland or yeah, Scotland, yeah. and they, they stay the night, very reasonable rates. Yeah, of course, yeah. I mean, I think the rooms are like, like a mini Premier Inn, if you like. So. Well, yeah, but not much nicer. But not but nicer yeah. Yeah, it is. It's yeah, like a five star uh, hotel up there, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's nice. So, also, so what we're encouraging now is sort of hen, uh, hen rooms, stag rooms. Darts parties, darts oh, tours. Absolutely. So we can put them up and also we can raise the team's bag as well. So. And, and of course, goes without saying, exhibitions and this weekend, Sunday night, the one and only, the gentleman yeah. of the hockey, Steve Bean. You've got to be buzzing about that. Yeah, no, he's um, obviously a long time friend of mine, but also longer mark. But um, so yeah, really looking forward to having him down. And, um, yeah, he's, he's, he's the sort of friendliest guy in darts. And, uh, so and if you're in the area, it's free to get in. Yeah. Um, yeah. But limited space, obviously. No, we are, we are raising our money for um, charity on the day, but it's free admission. But you know, you think. You know, I'll be here, don't worry about that. Um, right, let's get back to the main reason I am here, although the JDC is, we'll have a quick chat about that. Uh, JDC, it's one of your uh, academy nights tonight. Uh, just last weekend, uh, there was the event in Worcester. Yes, of course, yeah, that was a big event for us. It was a final qualified event. For the World? For the World Championship in Gibraltar in September. So, um, yeah, I think uh, so the, the team was finalised, so we've got Keelan Kay, uh, uh, Keelan Cave, Leighton Bennett, uh, James Beaton, and Harry Gregor. So, yeah, so, I yeah, didn't, so so sorry about that. I should have. didn't rehearse this, this is literally, I've <laughs> no, walked in and put it on him. No, they, they changed during the day, they changed. Yeah. So, yeah I remember. I've seen Leighton, Greg, uh, Leighton Bennett won one on the Saturday. Of course, yeah. he, uh, he won our event. Uh, last weekend in Norwich and, and hit that incredible nine darter en route in the semi final. He is absolutely on fire. I mean, it's in a nice way. I went for, went for a bad game. No, it doesn't. So, um, but yeah, but, you know, I keep emphasizing that. Um, yeah, it's 
Those kids exactly. Exactly. Well, Harry, Harry at the weekend himself. 15, 15 years old, here's 100 averages. Yeah. Yeah, the radar, which may benefit him in the long well, I think we're in a ph phenomenal place with the, with the darts and uh, we have to say it is down to the fact that these kids now do have the JDC, they do have something to play in, yeah. it's in a beautiful structured environment, I've been up here since 5 o'clock chatting to all the kids, they're having a great time, uh, I know there's plenty of information out there but we will do something again in the future, but let's get on with why we're here tonight, the yeah. iPlaster uh, Bristol Premier League, the 501 yes. Premier League, yeah. how did you come up with that idea? Well, I just wanted to, um, you know, the Bristol is an ambassador, in some sense, hotbed of darts, really, and for years and years, we didn't really, we've not pushed it enough. So for me, it was just um, something passionate about as well, you know, Bristol, and, and uh, a lot of people that I know, they darts around the area, they are good, but just to get exposure. So it's all good this is to get match practice, get to play live on a stream, which is, you know, not easy. No, it's like not. TV, no. Really. Uh, someone came around with a camera when I was playing last weekend, and I, I was playing darts on TV for 20 years, and there was some expletives, I can tell you, I said, go away, I'm not any of that. But you, you can get someone get over those yes. but exposure and the back of this they'll pick up sponsorships, they go on to huge school and go on to better things. But um yeah if it's this our first year we'll make mistakes but I mean we'll grow and grow and yeah. Anna Scoop we've got a, a great commentator I did say to everybody last week, last week was week one, yeah. I know you're on a few teething problems, but next week you've got a, a great commentator yeah, stepping in <laughs> yeah. next, next okay. week. Uh, <laughs> so Chris is kind of offered to, uh, to commentate for us next week, which is fantastic. Yeah, I can't wait. Looking forward to it. I watched it last week. You had a great game yourself with Mike Norton. Yeah. Just got yeah. heads out by four. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's still over there. He's watching him. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, no, he played well, Mike. Yeah, he did. It was a really, really, really good game. For week one, you could tell. Yeah. Because there's a lot of guys there. Probably the biggest stage they play on, maybe county yeah, or... Yeah, that's huge. But that's we've got 35,000 views. Yeah. That's how we've got on the, on the matches, so it tells you there's an appetite for it. Um, Want to watch it. So, especially now you're involved next week. Yeah, I know. I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks a million, pal. All the very best and good luck tonight.